Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 5th of 2023. Well, it is titled Creature Aurora over Norway. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken about a decade ago, look, looking up at the northern sky and seeing the aurora. And do you see some kind of creature in the patterns here? Well, it's quite possible if you use your imagination that you might be able to see different objects within the patterns that appear in the sky. Now, of course, we know that they are just random patterns, but our minds like to put some kind of order to the randomness and sometimes that's why we'll see patterns within things like the aurora or clouds. Now this was one of the most prominent auroral displays that occurred that year and we can see a lot of detail with this covering a large chunk of the sky. We see the bright green and purple coloring which are associated with the gases in Earth's upper atmosphere. For example, the green glow is due to atoms of oxygen, not down here by Earth, by, by the ground, but way up high in the upper atmosphere at the at the edge of space, essentially. And when they are excited by particles from the sun, they will give off a distinct green glow. And that is the color that is associated with oxygen atoms. You can also see in this case some of the purplish color, which can also be associated with either oxygen or nitrogen atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere. So a lot a lot to be able to see here. And what the aurora are are caused by particles from the sun and when they strike Earth's magnetic field, they are funneled down toward the north and south poles. So in this case, we see the image taken in Norway, very high northerly latitudes and very low southerly latitudes are where we prominently see the aurora. It takes extremely intense storms to make the aurora visible at very low latitudes latitudes. So you will never expect to see aurora in the equatorial regions, for example. Now, as the sun is getting more and more active over the next year or two, we expect far more large auroral displays such as this one. And we will have a chance to see far more aurora. And while we don't expect them down at super low latitudes, down into the more temperate areas, we'll begin to see some auroral activity as well during the bigger storms that may occur. So it is something to keep an eye out for when we get a big storm from the sun that you might have a chance to see your own creature here in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for November 5th of 2023. It was titled Creature Aurora over Norway. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Devil on Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.